So hello, this is video number two, and if you watched the first one and you're here for part two, thanks for joining. And if this is your first one, hello and welcome. Um, my first video talked about uh, how I will be getting an ileostomy, and they'll remove my colon, and, and how I found out, and all of that fun stuff. This video will be, I guess, a little bit more, um, informational video, I guess. So there's, the, th the thing, okay, I will be getting something called an ileostomy. An ileostomy is a type of stoma. A stoma is any opening in the body, um, your nose, your mouth, and your anus are actually natural stomas, um, but... What I will be getting is an artificial stoma, which is any hollow organ that can be manipulated into a stoma. So anything, any hollow organ that can be manipulated includes things like the esophagus, stomach, ileum, colon, urinary, bladder, all kinds of things. Um, there are different kinds of stomas. The three main types are colostomy. Um, so colostomy is a stoma that you get when they take out part of your colon, but they don't take out the whole thing. So the part that comes out um, is part of your colon. That's why it's called a colostomy. Um, a urostomy is um, for people who have problems with the, their bladder or the urinary system. Uh, so your urostomy, what happens is they take a little piece of, of um, your bowel and they attach it to your kidneys and it's, it bypasses the bladder and it comes out of your stomach once again. So instead of peeing, like you normally would, your pee comes out through this little hole. And that's a urostomy. There's more details. I'm not going to go into all of it. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very boring. Um, and what I'm getting is the ileostomy. So the ileostomy is when they take out your whole colon. And your colon is attached to your intestine by this little bit called an ileum. And so what happens is they take your whole colon out. Sometimes they leave some of it in. Sometimes they take the whole thing out. Anyways, the part that cut the ileum, the, the part that attaches the intestine to the colon is the part that sticks out, which is called, why it's called an ileostomy. It just has to do with the parts that are taken out. Um, I talked about polyps in the last video. So if you're new and you want to know about polyps, you can check out my other video um i talked about the reason i'm getting an ileostomy there's tons of different reasons that people get colostomies ileostomies urostomies um people with crohn's disease get them people with uh bladder cancer or colon cancer or uh ibs or colitis um, other reasons is they could just, you know, have damage done to them from anything from like a, you know, a car accident or something like that. It damages their internal organs and something happens or, um, they could have a blockage and, and it bursts open and guess what happens? You have to have this done. At least with me, it's kind of like a bittersweet thing. I had, I guess, three years to get used to the idea of getting this done. Whereas some people, if it's an emergency, they just go into the hospital to not even knowing what's going to happen. And they come out of surgery and they wake up and that's how their life is now. So it's kind of nice that I've had three years to prepare for it. But at the same time, the countdown is awful. Um... I'm not going to lie, it sucks waiting for this to happen. 
because every day you just get a little bit more anxious and a little bit more anxious. Um, anyways, leading up to the surgery, I have had four colonoscopies. If you don't know what a colonoscopy is, oh, hold on. If you don't know what a colonoscopy is, it is um, where they take a camera, put it up your bum. Your some some places will put you to sleep for it. Some places won't. Luckily, I was asleep. Anyways, they take a camera, they put it up your bum, they look inside your colon, uh, they check out your polyps to see if any of them look cancerous or not. Um, they might take take some of the polyps out and test them. Um, for other people that have other issues, they'll they'll be looking for other things such as like tears or. Um, I forget the other word, but anyways, they look for all kinds of stuff with the camera. And the fun part when you get a colonoscopy is what you have to do to prepare for it. And this is all sarcasm. Um, so what you have to do when you're preparing for a colonoscopy is, I'm just going to cover my name, so you have to drink either this or something like this. It tastes awful. And it's not really so much the taste of it. It's kind of like the texture because it's, it's like water, but it's not like water. It's a little bit thicker and it's weird and it's gross. And don't try to chug it. You'll throw up. And anyway, so you have to drink that. It's four liters. Um, instructions are on the back. You drink half at one point and then after a a couple hours you drink the other half and it's awful and you just poop and poop and poop until your butt feels like a baboon's ass and then after when your butt feels like a baboon's ass they have to go and stick a camera up there like I don't know how they get it up there I don't know how there's room but they do it so I've done four of those um, tomorrow I will be doing what's called a flex sigmoidoscopy something like that anyways um, so today is September 6th tomorrow is September 7th um, tomorrow I will be doing a flex sigmoidoscopy or a flex sig which is not a full colonoscopy they don't go through the entire length of your colon they just go through part of it so tomorrow I do not have to drink this or tonight I don't have to drink this. This is saved for prep for my surgery. Hooray. Um, no, tomorrow what I get to do. Two of these. What is this? It's an enema. Two enemas, obviously. What's an enema? An enema. If you've never had one. This is an enema. It's liquid that has this little thing. And you take the top off and there's a hole and you stick this in your bum and you squeeze all the liquid in your bum and you wait and it comes out and I've never done one before and I don't want to but I have to. I have to do two. And it comes with these fun little pictures on the box. Sorry. Um, it comes with these fun little pictures on the box of different positions you can sit in or lie in or whatever to get the bottle up there. So we'll see how this goes. This will be my morning tomorrow. And also, I can't have anything to eat or drink after midnight because apparently I'm a gremlin. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my morning um, and maybe I'll get back to you after that's all said and done. Or maybe I'll get back to you during to let you know how it's going. Hope you have a good night. Talk to you later.